guys, excited to show you how I built this DeepSeq research agent that uses two amazing new features. First, it uses the DeepSeq R1 reasoning model to create a research plan for us before it actually goes on the web and searches for answers to create a report and saves it in Google Docs. But the second cool feature is it uses the human in the loop node, which I used Slack here for, which I will show you in a sec. But before I go through each and every node, let me show you by running this agent, how it works, and then I will walk you through the workflow. So first, let's start the chat. Let's type in a question or a research topic. In my case, it's I want I research the deep seeks reinforcement learning approach from their white paper. Um, if you're a nerd like me, you might have read the white paper they published and showed their approach to reinforcement learning, basically post-training after the pre-training of the LLM model to achieve this reasoning chain of thought R1 model. And that's what I want a report for. So let's paste this and close the chat. As you can see, it takes a couple of seconds to think about what I actually want and create a research plan with sub questions that go beyond my basic request. Next, as you can see, it waits until I open my Slack channel and approve or decline the research draft. So now let's do that. Let me open my Slack. In Slack, I get the research plan or draft presented to me. And here I have a respond button. So I can now see it in this new pop-up, which again has the draft presented to me. And if I scroll down, I can approve or decline. In this case, I will decline. And here we'll type in the changes I want the AI agent to do for me. For that, let me paste in the changes. I want the research plan focus more on the difference between DeepSeq R1's training approach to uh, the PPO or proximal policy optimization. It's a method of reinforcement learning, which I saw it didn't include in the draft. So submit. Now, if you go back in NNN, you can see it classifies it as false. I disapproved. Then it rewrites the draft before it finally sends it to the web research agent that uses its SERP API to search the web for answers and then create a report and saves it in Google Drive. It just finished it. So now let me check my Google Drive folder and in here the latest report. And there's the final report saved in Google Drive as a doc file for me. Great. Now back in NNN, let me walk you through each and every step. Oh yeah, by the way, check out my newly launched school community named AI Agent Empire, where I share all my templates from my previous videos, as well as host weekly Q and A's where you can ask me on live calls, any questions you have. Just want to create a supportive community, which helps each other out building AI agents and your own AI agent empire. So check out the link in the description below. See you inside. So first, obviously the chat trigger. I don't go into that. That's default. Then our DeepSeq research agent, just a basic agent node with its prompt based on my recent prompt framework, which takes the chat input and based on that creates a superior research plan. To access the R1 model from DeepSeq, I use Open Router. Just set up your Open Router account or API key and then select the model. Here I just used a distilled version. But you can use the full version so it's next this one is an, a new exciting note the human in the loop um, if you open if you updated your nnn version you will have the human in the loop option and here you can select what channel or what application you want to use to receive your approval message um, in my last video i used gmail and this video obviously slack so now if i open this note the default is send and wait for response. No changes here. You change, you select your channel. I selected send message to channel, then select your channel. Here in my case, it's the human response. Then here's just a simple message. And for the response type in my video from yesterday, where I went into the basics of the human in the loop node, I used the approval mode where you get a button for approve or decline. But this version I used the custom form. As you could see, there was a drop down with approve or decline, plus the text area where I could add suggestions for changes. 
How we did that, you select your custom form and then have options to create fields like in the NADN form node. Just created a approve from drop down list, approve, decline option. This is a required field. And the what changes do we want me to do? Text area, which I have the option to type in any changes I want the AI agent to do on behalf of me, right? So as you can see, it passes the message that I declined it. And here are the message of the changes I want the next agent to do. So if I would have approved it, it would immediately go to the web research agent and then saves it in Google drives. As I showed you, I took the false or decline approach or route. If I decline in my if node, I have here the direct in the JSON dot approve is equal to approve. I checked it and I saw I declined. So it was automatically a false instead of true. So took the second route, which I created a rewrite agent that takes the draft from the deep seek research agent, the research plan and rewrite it, including the questions or the changes. I wanted it from the wait for approval node, basically the human in the loop node, which I just dragged in, in here. So it combines it and creates a new draft with my changes. Then same as above, here's a, just a basic web research agent that has access to the SERP API to search the web for the model. You could use any model. Uh, I used just GPT-4 or mini. I don't need a strong model to do just web research, right? but you can experiment with higher performing models. And for the prompt, again, it's just a simple tool agent. I always start by using SERP API. I mentioned it, that it should start using its tool. Otherwise, sometimes it just starts writing a final report without actually using the SERP API tool. So you have to experiment with the prompt to see what works best for you. So, and then I just pass the rewrites agents uh, output, which then basically goes to each sub question or each point of the research plan and answers it with factual information from the web it gathers, right? And then finally the Google drive node to be able to save it in my drive folder here, just select the Google drive authentication, then create from text. After that, I just pass the web search agent output, you drag it in and file name you can use a hard coded string, whatever it is. Plus now I want the timestamp of when the report was created, right? And then from your drive, you select your folder. That's it. And in this route above, it's basically just a duplicate of this bottom one. So these, these are just copies of each other. Yeah, as I said, the cool feature in this AI agent is basically using the DeepSeq R1 reasoning model to get a smarter AI agent that uses chain of thought plus the wait for approval, which is a cool new feature I really appreciate from NADN, which I used in LangGraph, but there was not a sufficient approach using this feature in NADN. Now it's available. I just updated my NADN instance, so you should have this feature as well. And that's it for the AI agent today. Hope you like this one. If you have any question, comment down below, hit the like button and also subscribe. So AI agent out.